Hi, Andreas. Thank you for joining us today. Um, so Andreas is a CIO of SmartStream who leads the Innovation Lab and responsible for innovations. The Innovation Lab works with uh, Tier 1 banks on selected use cases to optimize their workflows using AI and machine learning. Um, so last year you announced SmartStream Air, uh, the company's first AI solution. So tell us about the exciting news for this year's Cyboss uh, from the Innovation Lab. So last year, as you said, we announced the version one of, of AIR. AIR is our reconciliation product on the cloud. Uh, it um, can be easily subscribed to, and uh, it's specifically made for financial institutions and bank to, to reconcile their data. And we have introduced a lot of AI and machine learning technology uh, last year. It allows auto configuring, um, certain um, uh, scenarios. So it's really, it, it, it reduced the setup of a data integrity workflow from, from uh, weeks or, or hours to, to seconds by using AI. This year we, we have launched version two. Version two has a new AI component. I'm coming to that in a minute, but it's also more clever in a way that it can automatically configure more more scenarios. It works on, on tougher data sets. And that's also quite important. We, we have uh, the PCI DSS certificate. So we, we um, can safely and securely uh, compute payment messages. So we, are, we now have a certificate which uh, proves that we, we act in a very safe and secure cloud environment. Um, so Air version 2 is very much about getting it safer, more secure, and optimizing workflows even more by using SmartStream Affinity, which is our latest AI component. With firms looking to improve uh, automation to have greater control of risk and costs, uh, how much easier is it for them to access these technologies? You, you can say that uh, we are a software vendor, right? SmartStream has more than 2,000 banks as, as clients. So what our, our focus really is to deliver uh, re replicable results to all our clients. Um, and there's, at the moment, if you look at the industry, there are two, two um, um, AI and machine learning projects. The first one is, Banks or financial institutions, they, they uh, do their own projects. That's quite costly and in the long run, not really sustainable because that software is getting uh, also eventually old uh, or they, they um, subscribe to standard products like we, we give them. Um, the benefit is they can immediately benefit from our uh, technology we constantly are innovating, so we keep it up to date and they get with each version a new, a new uh, software product. So by, by, um, by using a, a subscription, uh, it's much safer and less risk to run, to run such a technology project, we believe. Could you tell us what are the challenges financial institutions face when it comes to operational data management uh, today and why is it so important to implement controls? Yeah, that's a, that's a very difficult uh, situation at the moment because if you look at uh, financial institutions, they have a huge amount of data, right? And they, the, the data is stored very fragmented, typically in their environments. So um, it's, it's quite hard to, for them to check inconsistent, inconsistencies between data and, and, and see whether their data is reliable. So um, at the moment, there's a, there's a shift. Um, we, the, the industry is shifting from uh, decentralized storages to centralized data technologies like Hadoop or document stores or, or data lakes. And it's, and it's really essential that they, that they have full control over what is stored there. Because in the, in the end, it's so important to find um, disputes right away. So if they, if they um, store their data in the data lake and there's some inconsistency between different products, 
uh, they need to be alerted right away. So and th 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 that is where SmartStream Air comes in. SmartStream Air is specifically tailored with, it, with its AI um, capabilities to, to monitor uh, different systems, to see whether it's consistent. And with Affinity, that's our, our latest AI um, capability, um, it, it uh, does observational learning, which means it will once, if there is a break, it will observe how a user um, uh, looks at how at those two systems and tries to resolve and identify the, the problems in the data sets. And uh, once the AI feels confident that uh, it understands how user resolve the problems or look for the problems, it can help the users and provide suggestions to them. So it's a, it's a bit like a suggestion system we are used from Netflix or from Amazon, uh, where it recommends how you, you know, look the next uh, video or you, you buy another product. What Affinity really does is it will recommend to users what records to look next, where it expects to see problems and therefore it making, it's, it's making users much more efficient and more cost effective. Tell us more about how SmartStream's other business units are benefiting uh, from the Innovation Lab's uh, groundbreaking work. So in the Innovation Lab, we have a lot of AI components in the meanwhile. We have a whole library of AI components and they are specifically tailored uh, to the financial services industry. And I think the, the, the real thing is that once you have those libraries and you understand um, how to apply them in different scenarios, um, that, that's when it's um, very nice to integrate them into the product. So we use the same component we use uh, for our cash and liquidity solution where we predict um, settlement times and, and uh, make it easier for cash and liquidity managers to predict uh, the forecast. The same component we use in our REC systems to identify uh, how long it will take to, to uh, close an exception. It's a component that based on data, uh, it can estimate a date uh, or point in time. Um, and, and so we have other components like components that can find relationships between financial transactions and can identify uh, related transactions or we have components that can auto configure rules. So we now have a couple of components that are being integrated in all our software products. And because they are, they are used at so many uh, ends and for so many purposes, it makes our smart stream products quite efficient and effective. So what are the latest developments we can expect from the innovation lab? Yeah, so in the innovation lab, we have uh, researchers that are continuously working with our, with our partnering clients and trying to find more use cases. Um, so I think what we can expect is that we, with uh, SmartStream Affinity, uh, we all, we, we're just starting to see the many use cases that we can approach. So we have uh, used it in PUCs, um, which were which gave us a phenomenal um, uh, cost reduction um, and it, it, it boosted matching rates uh, significantly. And now another interesting thing will be to apply it to different banks, um, into different uh, workflows and see whether we, we optimize it more, we can optimize it more or, or what result it brings in different scenarios. Um, so I think our, our mission in the lab is always to deliver you know, excellent software products to, to our, our clients uh, to make workflows leaner and more smart. And in the financial services industry, I think we are just at the very beginning to see what machine learning and AI can do for us. Due to global pandemic, Cybos has held virtually this year. Could you please briefly comment what SmartStream expects from this year's event? And what are the hot topics that will be raised during the online sessions? So, so Cybos this year is a very special Cybos. Um, it is 
uh, virtual um, and which has a lot of benefits too, right? We can reach more people at that cyborg. Um, <clears throat> also the times when the cyborg, when cyborg is, is, uh, is very much uh, the local time. So, so it's, it's very convenient for people. Um, what we see uh, from SmartStream is um, we see a lot of interest in our software products. I'm quite busy uh, showing demos uh, on different data sets um, of, of uh, how, we, how we apply machine learning and AI to that. Um, and, and I looked at some of the sessions uh, it's, it's also interesting to see um, that, that um, I mean, a lot is being, is being spoken about COVID-19 and how it, how it changes the industry. And of course it does. Um, we, the industry is becoming more and more uh, virtualized. So cloud is a big subject. I think COVID has, has progressed the, 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 um, the movement to the cloud rapidly. We also see that in our in our managed service offering that there's more um, that there's more demand at the moment. Um, so so there are a lot of interesting sessions. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.